So what you can also do is you can sign in with your Microsoft account inside of Microsoft as so that you can sync up data. So to do that over here from the home page, you can go to sign in over here or you can click on the three dot button right here just like this and then go around on to settings over here. So once you go around over here under profiles, you can see that sign in to sync data is an option. So you need to go around and click right here. Then you need to type in the email address that you want to sign up your account with. So I'm just going to go around and say tutortube at outlook.com right here, which is my email address. And once I do that, what happens is that it goes through the verification process of signing in. So you can see that it is asking me to enter my password. So let me just go around and enter out my password right here, just like this. And once I do that, it says use this account everywhere in your device. So I'm just going to go around and accept it and click on next over there. So you can see that it says, please wait. And it's saying just a moment. And now you can see that it has been synced out right here. And now it says that I'm signed in. So if I were to go around over here on to, let's say, for example, something else. So let's just go around over here and refresh it out right here. So let's just go around and see. You can see that it's actually going around and accessing all of my uh, previous tabs right here. So let's just go around over here on to refresh settings right here. So if I were to refresh it, now you can see that DigiTube is actually signed in over here. And whatever Microsoft account that I have right here will be signed in just like this. So if I were to go around onto, let's say, for example, OneDrive.com right here, just like this and press mm -hmm. enter, then what happens is that it'll simply go around and sign in. It's already installing my uh, accounts, as you can see right here. So if I were to go around onto Microsoft OneDrive and click on sign in, now you can see that I don't need to individually sign in onto my OneDrive account or any of my Microsoft services because it's a part of Microsoft. And that is how you can sign in with your Microsoft account so that you start you can um, uh, you can start syncing out your account details in Microsoft as mm -hmm. and be signed in automatically to Microsoft related services. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe